welcome to this video this is lecture number 61 already 60 lecture covered the solution of the supplementary problem of vector analysis by Emma Spiegel book you know this book is very important for physics as well as for mathematics and also important for IITM examination that's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem of 6.56 to 6.60 of chapter 6 which consists divergence strokes and related integral theorem mainly Gins theorem go to that question 6.56 which which says that h vector is nothing but curl of a and prove that this is for any closed surface so so just change the color so h vector is nothing but the curl of a vector right now you want to find out the surface integral of h vector dot n cap ds so the Divergence theorem says that any vector dot ds vector that is n cap ds is nothing but the volume integral. This is the surface integral. This is the volume integral divergence of a dv. Clear? So by using this Stokes theorem, you can say this is the volume integral of divergence of h dv and h is nothing but curl of a. So this can be written as divergence of curl of any vector that is a and you know the identity divergence of divergence of curl of any vector will be zero this is the vector identity you all know from the spigel book that is the zero so if you put this is zero so this become will be zero hence proved clear hence proved just use to divergence theorem gauss divergence theorem just use the Gauss divergence theorem Gauss divergence theorem divergence theorem Gauss divergence theorem clear go to the next one next question is 5.6.57 which says that suppose n cap is a unit outward drawn normal to any closed surface so that this will be s so the volume integral of divergence of n cap dv right so from the stokes theorem remember the stokes theorem a vector dot n cap ds is nothing but volume integral of divergence divergence n cap sorry divergence of a vector dv here divergence of n cap that's mean if we, we backward in the surface integral this will becomes n cap dot n cap ds so n cap n cap is 1 so this is in surface integral of ds this become s surface integral of ds will be s okay hence proved hence proved hence proved clear go to the next one 6.58 which says that this integral will be that so for in the reverse direction this will be easily but in the forward direction this is tough that's why you need to know the divergence property of phi a you know the property of phi a gradient of phi a is the grad phi dot a plus uh, phi divergence of a clear the identity you know from the vector analysis book or in our previous lecture already discussed about this identity now if we put this is a 1 by r square r vector so this will be Grad of 1 by r square dot r vector plus phi is 1 by r square grad r okay so this is the normal derivative that is minus 2 by r cube with a r cap that is r vector by r and dot r vector plus divergence of r is 3 you know very well if you don't know please refer to the previous videos and this is r square so this become r square so this is minus 2 by r square plus 3 by r square so this is nothing but 1 by r square so this is nothing but 1 by r square so here we can write here we can write volume integral of 1 by r square can be written as divergence of 1 by r square r vector db so using gauss theorem if we convert it into the surface so you need to put these vector that is r vector by r dot n cap ds clear you i think remember the divergence theorem this is nothing but 
the divergence of a dv just compare this one so divergence of this okay this is the divergence sorry this is the divergence so this is the okay clear i think clear this go to the next one prove that this is because to this so for that you need to note the identity of phi n cap ds this is the surface integral of volume integral grad phi dv this is the another form of the divergence theorem the main form was the a vector dot n cap ds equal to divergence of a vector dv this is the so here we use this identity the proof of this identity given in the spiegel book please refer to the spiegel book so if we compare with the identity the phi will be r to the power phi so what will be the grad phi that is r to the power 5 you know this is the simply derivative 5 r to the power 4 into r cap that is r vector by r so this is 5 r q r vector so use this identity you can see this is nothing but volume integral of grad phi is 5 r q r vector and dv simply just use this identity go to the next one prove this will be 0 for that you need to remember this identity this is the identity just previous identity that is phi n cap ds is nothing but divergence uh, is sorry grad phi dv clear so here the uh, this will be grad phi here the phi is nothing but is there is nothing but one so you can i uh, just write one line one n cap ds so the phi is one here phi is one so phi is one grad phi is will be zero so this will be grad uh, uh, grad one into dv this is zero so this become also zero clear i think clear uh, this is all about me. This is my contact details. You can contact with me by the WhatsApp number regarding any physics related question. This is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel. You get the all the videos which already uploaded. Share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video. Channel, sub, please subscribe this channel such so that uh, place the bell icon such so that you get the notification of the upcoming video. Uh, thanks a lot. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible. Take care.